Hey guys, I am back with another review video, and happy Friday. So, yeah, um, I am going to do an unboxing later on today, so I just want to show you guys this pretty cool plushie I got, which is a WWE official licensed product, Undertaker plush. Uh, if some of y'all really want to know how I got the Undertaker in a plush form, I picked him up from Walmart two days ago. So, yep, uh, what's really cool about this plushie, he's so soft. I mean, well, like, every other plushie, so let's go ahead and rotate him. And what's really cool about this one, he has, like, the logo on his belly. But I don't know why they make the pants gray. And what's really cool about this plushie. So you know this little thing that's for the tr this coat here. Alright guys, so, back with another video, and the last video, I did a review on The Undertaker, and this one, I am reviewing The Ultimate Warrior. So yeah, uh, what's really cool about this, you guys, because I told you guys, this is actually from Walmart, and I don't know if these are Walmart exclusives or not, because, um... Some of these plushies were found in some Walmarts. I found the Ultimate War Warrior where I was at, at my local Walmart, like, three weeks ago. But they didn't have it, like, three weeks later now, which is today. Well, mostly, like, a couple days, days ago. But I went to a different Walmart to get this one at a different Walmart. And it was not that easy. Well, it was easy. He was easy to find. But, yep. Let's go ahead and take the tags off and see what he looks like without the tags on. So, in three, two, one. Okay, guys. So, here is the Ultimate Warrior without the tags on. And I know he kind of stands weird, and let me just remove that little trash there, but, um, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Alright, guys, so, I am back with another unboxing video, so, we are unboxing Handmade by Robots Collectible Final Figure, this series, number 47, Wonder Woman, uh, here she is, out where it, in the window or box, where you call it. Here's an actual picture of Wonder Woman. Um, not too crazy about the blue in her hair, because when I was just little, she always had black hair, but I guess that's like the little shading part for the, the hair, I think. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get this unboxed, shall we? Alright, guys, so here she is. Um... She feels like a dog toy. I think it's pretty cute. And look at this. It has like a little thing called Handmade for Robots. Scan code. Well, not like a scan code. Like, you know, like one of those barcodes that you scan the item with at Walmart. I wasn't originally going to unbox it in the car. But I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to unbox it right now. Then unbox the other thing in the car later on. Or probably tonight. But anyway, guys. Uh, this I'm boxing, well, mostly review, it's going to be 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe, have a safe weekend. Alright, guys, so, the moment y'all been waiting for the U2's collectibles. Number zero. My mom told me not to open this. I was like, Mom, come on. It's... Literally mine. I mean, 
I have a game. I have my eye on it for a while now. Uh, the reason why I only got this because it was thirty five dollars. Well, actually, well, okay, yeah, it was thirty five dollars on Amazon, and I thought it wouldn't be here today till I just found out that it was in my mailbox. And this what really irritates me. Like, look at this. See, they literally damn. Like literally, like. The mailman literally damaged the box. Here he is. Uh, nice picture shot of a uh, Homelander here. Background here. And the window here and here. And let's go ahead and take them out of the box, shall we? In three, two, one. All right, guys, so here he is out of the box. Um, he doesn't have any articulation, and he is pretty big. Well, not, like, big because his head is big. And what's really weird about these figurines, they don't have the...